Hello friends, in this uh, video I am going to explain about the insertion process in an MV search tree. We have given an overview, we have given the definition of the MV search tree in one of our previous videos. So in this video I am going to perform the insertion operation and I will show you to you how the insertion operation is being performed on an MV search tree. So for that purpose I have drawn an MV search tree beforehand in order to save some time. So uh, this is an MV search tree which can be seen on the board and you can see you can just verify whether it is an MV search tree. First let us verify whether it is an MV search tree, whether the partitioning is, uh, is done in a proper manner. Let us uh, see this MV search tree. This can be thought to be an MV search tree. Suppose we can see that the maximum degree which we can reach from uh, any node of the MV search tree is a uh, maximum of 5. So the MV search tree can be thought to be of degree 5 that is m is equal to 5. So this is a 5 way search tree, this is a 5 way search tree. So 5 way search tree has a maximum of uh, 5 pointers leading from uh, one node to its child pointers, to its child nodes rather. So in this case we can see that it is a 5 way search tree and m way search tree where m is equal to 5. So let us see the partitioning is done in a proper manner or not. Uh, see this 16 has a left pointer in this node and uh, it leads to some values um, accumulated over here, the stored over here which are uh, obviously less than 16. So it is well and good and uh, we can see that these uh, two pointers are null pointers and we can see that there are two left pointers and right pointers for 198. For this 198 that is km minus 1, we can see that uh, this left pointer uh, it points towards a node, points towards a node which has some values which are definitely less than 198 and this left pointer is nothing but the right pointer of 75. So all the values are greater than 75 and less than 198. So this is well and good. This is also well and good as we can see that 208 is greater than 198. For this case, we can see that this is a null pointer and this is 8 and 10 that is 11 has a left pointer in this one and 11 has a left pointer in this one. So this, 11, this 8 and 10 are definitely less than 11 and this 8 and 10 are more than 6 uh, more than 6. So it is because uh, this is the right pointer to this 6. So the values should be greater than 6 and the values are really greater than 6. So in this case, I can see that this is a null pointer. So in this case, let us see this 78 is less than 81. Well and good. This are two, these two are null pointers and this is a right pointer to this 151, which should have uh, all the values which will be greater than 151. And see, let us see that whether it is greater than 151, 162 greater than 151, 178, 182, 190 all are greater than 151. So it is partitioned in a correct way up to this portion and let us see the last portion. This node, we have a right pointer from 208 which leads to this node having values all greater than 208. So the partitioning of the MVS search tree is uh, well and good and we can proceed with the insertion of some nodes into this existent MV search tree and how can we do that? Let me give uh, a few insertion uh, values. So first let us uh, insert 6. So 6 is there. So suppose we can insert 5. We can insert 5 and uh, let us see uh, what is done with the insertion of 5 and sequentially we will just carry on with another insertion process with another, another value. We will deal with that later on. For, but first let us insert this 5 into the MV search tree. What will we uh, do to uh, cater for this 5 in the MV search tree? We will always look for the root node having uh, how many children? This is m is equal to 5 that is it is a 5 way search tree. So 5 way search tree can have only 5 pointers to a maximum extent and 4 key values to a maximum extent. So there are already 4 key values in this node 16, 42, 75, 198. So you cannot accommodate this 5 in this node because it is already full. So now in this case we have to see that we have to compare this 5 value 5 with all of the values over here and see that this 5 is the list of these all 5 values taken together. So 5, 16, 42, 75, 198. So if 5 
so 5 can in other words in, in uh, simply put that uh, 5 is less than the lowest value in this entire set of four key values so since 5 is less than the lowest value of this entire set this 5 will definitely get a place on the left subtree of this uh, 16 so we go to the left subtree and try to insert 5 and see what is what is over here we see that there are only two populated uh, two key values over uh, on this node that is containing 6 and 11 and three child point uh, child pointers so this 5 can easily be accommodated in this node because this node can hold uh, still hold two more key values so 5 is only 5 will only be the third value in this node so it can be easily inserted into this node so if we just make a little bit of modification in this uh, tree i am not going to write the tree draw the tree once again to save some time in this video so i am going to insert this 5 see that 5 can be inserted in this node and where the 5 will go 5 will definitely go in an order uh, in a sequence that 5 will be placed on the leftmost uh, part of this node so 5 will start as the starting key value of this node after the insertion has been done then 6 then 11 so it will be partitioned in the perfect manner so if we just go on to insert this 5 and accommodate this 5 over here by rubbing a little bit of portion and uh, doing the necessary adjustment we can save some time so excuse me for uh, just making some modifications in the existing figure so i'm just going to make some modification over here so suppose i am going to make some modification in this way suppose suppose this 5 should be accommodated over here so i have accommodated this 5 over here so that will increase a pointer like this so there will be three key values and four pointers and this way in this way we see that since 5 is uh, 5 has been accommodated over here the this pointer can be this is the right pointer to 6 so it is it will remain as the right pointer to 6 the left pointer of 6 should not point to anything and uh, this should be like this this 8 this 8 and 10 is like this and this will be cross this will be cross so this will uh, give us a situation like this see this this is cross this is cross there is 5 as a left pointer which points to nothing uh, 5 as a right pointer which points to nothing and this 6 has a left pointer which points to which one which points to 8 and 10 so we can see that we have inserted the uh, value 5 into the mv search tree in this way now suppose we are going to deal with an insertion of another value which will uh, give us a little bit of uh, another way or a different way of insertion so another way of insertion can be done by inserting suppose uh, suppose i will insert a value 156 in this figure 156 so this 156 is if it is to be uh, inserted we will see that uh, 156 is to be compared with this is to be compared with this one and see this there is a right pointer there is a right pointer for 151 which leads to 162 178 182 and 190 and there are four values so this 156 cannot be accommodated over here so it will be lying somewhere over somewhere over on the left pointer of 162 so 156 can be inserted by making some necessary adjustment in this manner so we can just rub a little bit of portion from here and modify and modify the tree in this manner 156 156 having this two child nodes cross cross and this is the way we can add this 156 over here so this is the way we can do the insertion in this mv search tree and uh, if you have any doubts and queries for into this entire insertion uh, procedure you can well post your doubts and queries into the comment section below so that i can address them thanks for watching this video